Hello, I'm Kyle Fansler with your News in 90 evening update for this January 30th. Two families had to leave their residences after a sinkhole swallowed their homes. The Tallahassee Police Department responded to calls on Tuesday about a sinkhole in a mobile home park. No one was home when the sinkhole began consuming trees and a porch, but the sinkhole is still expanding after two days. Local firefighters refused to measure it because of safety reasons. The United States Geological Survey says even though sinkholes are a natural phenomena, they can be induced by human construction or water pumping. Clinicians in North Texas are putting virtual reality to a new use, helping veterans with PTSD. A doctor at the University of Southern California developed the virtual reality program StrongMind to help veterans cope with PTSD. StrongMind allows patients to confront where their PTSD started. Veterans wear the virtual reality headsets that put them into a situation similar to their PTSD experience. The Department of Veterans Affairs says that roughly 20% of veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan experience some form of PTSD in a given year. A golden retriever who beat cancer will soon be seen across the nation in a commercial. Scout, the seven-year-old golden retriever, will appear in a WeatherTech ad in this weekend's Super Bowl. Scout collapsed from a tumor on his heart last summer and was given no hope by local veterinarians. His owner, WeatherTech CEO David Vale, turned to the University of Wisconsin to find treatment for Scout. After aggressive therapy, the tumor is virtually gone. Again, you can see Scout in the WeatherTech Super Bowl ad this Sunday. That's your News in 90. I'm Kyle Fansler. You can get frequent updates for Florida news anytime at wuft.org. Enjoy your day.